this nation is one of only two countries in the world that are doubly landlocked, indicating that it is entirely landlocked and further surrounded only by other landlocked countries. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're looking at Liechtenstein, a tiny yet fascinating principality in Central Europe, with an area just 160 square kilometers. The country is bordered by Switzerland to the west and south, and Austria to the east. Its rich history dates back to the 17th century, and it operates as a constitutional monarchy. Stay tuned until the end for a closer look at the charm and character that define this microstate. Liechtenstein is a small landlocked country located in Central Europe with an area of just over 160 square kilometers and a population of about 38,000. It is one of the smallest countries in Europe. However, it has a unique geography shaped by its location between Switzerland and Austria in the Rhine Valley. Liechtenstein is situated between Switzerland to the west and Austria to the east. It is double landlocked, meaning that it is surrounded by other landlocked countries. Its borders stretch 81 kilometers in total. Liechtenstein is located within the Rhine Valley, meaning that much of its terrain consists of flat areas along the valley floor. However, the country transitions into the rugged Alps in its southwestern region, where mountains rise up to 2,500 99 meters at Grauschwitz. Despite its small size, the country contains a diversity of climates due to differences in elevation. The Rhine River is Liechtenstein's most important hydrological feature. It originates in Switzerland and runs through the entire length of Liechtenstein, providing hydroelectric power and serving as a political boundary. Liechtenstein lacks natural mineral resources besides gravel and stone. Historically, the Rhine River was an important resource that allowed timber to be transported downstream from alpine forests. Today, the country's natural landscapes, particularly its mountains, serve as an important resource for tourism. The Rhine Valley provides fertile soils for agriculture, especially crops like wheat, corn and potatoes. Liechtenstein is one of the smallest countries in the world, but it has a diverse and fascinating population. The World Bank estimates that its population is around 39,000, making it one of the smallest countries by population. About 85% of the population is ethnically Alemannic, which refers to Germanic peoples who speak the Alemannic dialect. Besides the Alemannic majority, the only minority group of significance is Turks, who comprise about 5% of the population. Religion plays an important role in Liechtenstein's culture and identity. About 78% of the population is Christian, mostly split between Roman Catholic and Protestant. This religious makeup is heavily influenced by the country's proximity to the Catholic regions of Austria and Switzerland. Besides Christians, about 5% of the population is Muslim, mostly comprising the Turkish minority. German is the official language and mother tongue of Liechtenstein. The local dialect is Alemannic, which is part of the Upper German language group. Despite the dominance of German, many Liechtensteiners can speak conversational Swiss German as well due to the close cultural and economic ties between Liechtenstein and the surrounding Swiss cantons. English is also widely spoken as a second language, especially in education and business. Liechtenstein is a small European country located between Switzerland and Austria. Its cuisine has been heavily influenced by its larger neighbors. Here are some dishes you try on your next visit to Liechtenstein. Kesknöpfle, a small cheese pasta dumplings made from flour, eggs, cheese and parsley. They are usually served in broth as a soup. Kesknöpfle 
is a popular comfort food dish across Liechtenstein and is also in the Alpine regions of Switzerland and Austria. Schnitzel is thin, breaded, fried cutlets made from veal or pork. It arrived in Liechtenstein through Austrian influence. Schnitzel is served with potato or pasta side dishes. It is crunchy and flavorful, making it one of Liechtenstein's most beloved dishes. Wurst refers to sausages or hot dogs, which are popular in Liechtenstein as finger foods or snacks. Pork and beef sausages seasoned with pepper and garlic are common. Wurst from Liechtenstein may be served with sauerkraut and mustard. Dreikönigskuchen is a cake traditionally served during the festival of Epiphany. It is made from dough laced with nuts, fruit and spice. Dreikönigskuchen is topped with a paper crown referring to the three kings. Liechtenstein is a small European country with a unique history shaped by its mountainous landscape and position between powerful neighbors. The region was conquered by the Romans in 15 BCE. After the Roman Empire's collapse, Germanic tribes settled the area. It was located within the historic Holy Roman Empire. In the 12th century, the region came under the influence of the House of Habsburg. Liechtenstein Castle was constructed during this time and remains an iconic landmark. In 1719, Prince Johann Adam Fee von Liechtenstein purchased the estates of Vaduz and Schellenberg and unified them into the territory that would become Liechtenstein. The country gained independence as a sovereign nation in 1806 after the Napoleonic Wars dissolved the Holy Roman Empire. It aligned itself with the Austrian Empire. In 1818, Liechtenstein adopted a constitution to transform the country into a constitutional monarchy. During this century, the country was ravaged by a famine and economic depression that caused many residents to emigrate. The construction of the Austrian railroad provided economic benefits. At the start of the 20th century, Liechtenstein continued to be closely tied to Austria's economy and politics. But after World War I, the Austro-Hungarian Empire collapsed. In 1919, Liechtenstein entered into a customs and monetary union with Switzerland for economic stability and protection. Liechtenstein remained neutral during World War II. Today, Liechtenstein is a prosperous and stable state with a constitutional monarchy. It has one of the highest GDPs per capita in the world. Tourism, manufacturing and financial services drive its economy. Liechtenstein has one of the highest GDP per capita in the world, with a prosperous and highly industrialized market economy. As of 2023, its GDP is roughly $7.7 .7 billion, according to the World Bank. Manufacturing, focused on high-value added and specialized niches, forms the backbone of Liechtenstein's economy. About 40% of the workforce is employed in manufacturing. Major products include dental products, optical instruments, precision measuring tools, and microelectronics. Low business taxes attract many foreign companies. Banking and financial services comprise Liechtenstein's second largest sector, employing about 30 in percent of the workforce. As a tax haven, the country attracts offshore accounts and investments. It also offers a wide range of banking services due to its economic stability and privacy laws. Although Liechtenstein is landlocked and small, tourism contributes significantly to its economy with nearly 400,000 visitors annually. Its mountain landscapes, medieval castles, museums and winter sports attract tourists. Souvenirs like postage stamps and liquor are popular purchases. Agriculture plays a relatively minor role today, employing less than 5% of the population. But historically, cereal crops were important exports transported along the Rhine River. 
Today, farms mainly produce dairy goods, potatoes and wheat. Viticulture is also practiced. Liechtenstein is one of the smallest countries in Europe, but it possesses a vibrant and distinctive culture. The arts thrive in Liechtenstein, especially folk music, painting, pottery and theatre. Its National Art Museum displays both classic and contemporary works. The Liechtenstein Musical Company performs operas and orchestral concerts. Folk music featuring the Alpenhorn and Lendler dance are part of cultural traditions. Liechtenstein is known for its charming alpine architecture, seen in chalets with decorative painted facades. Historical landmarks include Vadus Castle and the Valdus Cathedral. Liechtensteiners celebrate both Swiss and Austrian holidays due to their cultural ties. These include Swiss National Day, Corpus Christi, Assumption Day and All Saints Day. Fasnacht is Liechtenstein's carnival season leading up to Lent. The country festival showcases food, music and crafts. If you enjoyed this video on Liechtenstein, you'll love this next one.